Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Radio Out of Control. Tonight, we're going to tear apart the engine mower V8. And we're going to look inside it. Um, I'm going to put up some close-up pictures, but I want to go over a few things in a quick video. And so I totally dismantled the block. Um, pulled the heads off as a pair with the intake manifold. Um, it was just a little tight to get inside here to get the, um, the Allen heads out. So, anyways, stay tuned, and here we go. All right, let's get into the thick of it here. Yeah, I kind of excused the grubby look here. I just got out of work, and I've been spending like probably the last three hours tearing this apart. Um, to give you guys a really close detailed look of how, how it works um, First off, we're going to get to the crankshaft now. I didn't take the starter housing out of it, but I did take the uh, um, the flywheel off and If you look at the crankshaft, you'll see it's got bearings on the crankshaft and it's got other like big races here three of them and then there's a bearing in the back and then there's a bearing on the front okay now these big races here ride inside the block you see them giant bearings in there these are bearings and the whole crankshaft sets in there and these bearings support the center these are roller bearings and you see I took a plug out here because I wanted to see what the water jackets look like inside because it is a closed system here it's not open like most of them they have an open but what they do is they bore the hole then they machine outside it and then run a drill right through it and open up all the um, chambers together so now these are the oiling um, roots that I was telling you guys about here. If you look on the block itself, let me get a little Allen head or screwdriver here. If you look here, you're gonna see there's two little holes here. One, two. Alright, so Here's how it oils itself. Let me move the oil pan out of the way here. It comes up through a cavity, these two holes here, on the very bottom of the block. It rolls up into the cylinder head. It goes beyond the cylinder head. And then there's a cavity inside the valve cover up here. Right here and it lets oil come through these tiny little holes right here to lubricate your roller rockers and it comes across and goes back down through the inside of the block down here there's tiny holes inside the block here for oiling all the way down the center so this thing gets plenty of oil I tell you, it, gets, it was pretty sloppy when I tore it apart, but I wasn't scared. Now, you do have these little collar caps here. <clears throat> you notice I numbered everything. Yep. Trying to, there we go. What this does is after your crankshaft goes in, on the very bottom of the crankshaft, this sits in and holds your bearings in place so they don't move. And it's a it's a nice nice fit on everything. I was very impressed with the quality of the machine work inside this engine. Now here's your pistons. You're gonna see we got three rings. Get the screwdriver again here. We got two compression, and here's your oil scraper right here. And then you notice there's little holes in the pistons here underneath. 
that bring the oil back down inside and lubricate everything inside too. So not only is it um, circulating oil, what gets thrown up here gets scraped off and thrown back onto the crankshaft again. Now these are the Siamese rods I was talking about. If you notice, the one has a fork rod and the other has a single. And they sit together like so, right within each other. And they all have a separate bearing that they ride on, on the crankshaft, which I just showed you. There's three bearings and they're all separate. What they do is they just split it and ride it over top of it. And now this engine has had some major hours put on it. And uh, it, like I say, the wear on the engine is very minimal. Um, and I did hammer this thing. Uh, my last run was, oh, I think it was around 40 minutes at probably three quarters throttle. And we just kind of walked away and came back and um, my head battery had died to uh, um, run my fan so it was starting to boil over and uh, so we just let it we just let it run you know to see what what the outcome would be but these are the roller rockers you see these have individual bearings in them there they're replaceable and then it's got spacers on the rocker shaft so you can actually unbolt and change the bearings in this because these are ball bearings too and these work really well um, for the, the setup that it has so, so I'm gonna upload some pictures here in a minute and they're gonna go over the oil pan now put all these bolts and stuff down here you're gonna notice the oil's a little bit green looking because that's that high zinc content oil that I that I use. Now there's a there's a slot up here where the uh, oil pump is in the front here, and what it does is it fills this cavity up with oil from the oil through the oil filter from the oil pan, and then it pushes it up through the bottom of the block, and it's. Uh, works very well I was very impressed with that so <clears throat> now here's the distributor itself just just bolts on the back of the block with two screws um, I wish it was adjustable you know so you can adjust it a little bit but um, because right now you have to you have to you've probably seen the blog where they tell you how to set the timing on it um, and this is your trigger wheel here get this this is the trigger wheel. This is the back side, and it has a couple of um, little grub screws in there to mount it to the back of the camshaft. And then there's there. Now this had came loose and kind of glued itself to the uh, the distributor cap, so you'll see there's some some scrapes on there. But it still ran. It still kept running because that goes right inside there like so, and that's how it runs. And there's your. Um, your hall sensor for your CDI everything so far is working very well in this thing uh, I hated to tear it apart to be honest with you now here's the distributor cap you're gonna see how nice this distributor cap is and you're gonna see some gouging in there where the trigger the uh, trigger wheel came loose but it's still it still starts right up and runs and um, this will be the bottom of your intake manifold for your carbs. Just a basic machined plate that bolts on. That right there it kind of brings up room for a supercharger. But anyways, guys, I hope this answers your questions. Um, it's like after 8 o'clock right now, and I'm going to sit down because it's been a long day. And uh, we'll... Any other questions or comments, feel free to hit me up um, because, like I say, these are on sale this month. Um, I, the last I checked, their goal was 20 of them. If not, they're not going to get built. But I think we're 
around 15 right now and I was ready to send this back yesterday and for some reason um, I don't know if I didn't have a one of the papers or something correctly filled out so I said I'll come back later and uh, it was actually the day before I was gonna send it out and uh, I got contacted from Sterling Kit to ask me to uh, tear it apart because I guess some of you engine lovers out there wanted to see the internals of it here so I'm gonna have it apart for probably till the weekend and I'm gonna put it back together again but uh, you know if you have any questions or anything like that feel free to hit me up and uh, we'll go from there so like share subscribe if you want love to all later guys